because I'm preaching the gospel that Jesus preached, and I'm not ashamed of it. 25 years ago, televangelist Robert Tilton of Dallas had the fastest growing television ministry in the world. But after a network expose in November of 1991, it all came crashing down. A religious watchdog living in East Dallas, Ole Anthony, played a key role in Tilton's fall from grace. Where are the two adversaries now? Well, News 8's Brett Ship tracked them down. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not here because I want to be some big TV star. In the early 1990s, Robert Tilton's television ministry reached around the globe. Success in life with Robert Tilton. His success in life broadcast and his pitch for money made him one of the richest televangelists on earth, bringing in an estimated $80 million a year. He gained notoriety for his healing prayers and speaking in tongues. We've seen many, many children healed. We've seen midgets grow. We've seen arms and legs that stop growing because the growth cells that stop. I don't make this stuff up. Tilton also drew the attention of ABC News anchor Diane Sawyer, whose expose in November of 1991 portrayed Tilton as preying on gullible followers, first by his lavish lifestyle, then by mining his followers' mail for donations, then dumping their prayer requests in the trash behind Tilton's bank in Oklahoma. If some make it to Tilton, there are thousands that didn't. We found them in the garbage at the bank and the Marketing Research Center. But Diane Sawyer wasn't dumpster diving. You know, father isn't, doesn't, doesn't reward greed. It was Ole Anthony, founder of the East Dallas Homeless Ministry Trinity Foundation, who masterminded the investigation and helped expose some of the top televangelists in the country. I saw that what they were preaching was like going to Las Vegas. It's going like to, to a spiritual Las Vegas. Not long after the expose, Tilton sued Anthony, who became the target of his televised rage. He ain't a minister. He's nothing. He's less than nothing. But Tilton's Farmer's Branch megachurch closed. His TV ministry was destroyed. Tilton moved to Florida, where he tried to revive his ministry. Anthony remained in East Dallas, where he still preaches to the poor. And so let's go to 1 Timothy chapter 4. And his morning Bible study begins with a scripture. And they that will be rich fall into temptation. Anthony rejects the trappings of the modern day ministry. He suffers from chronic pain and says he nearly died from an infection two years ago. And at 78, he says he's ready. I consider myself already dead. Why? Because it's, there's nothing in the universe, nothing in the world except God that I have any interest in. Don't believe it. When we asked him about Tilton, an old fire rekindled. Well, I don't want to do anything to hurt him. I just wish he'd sell all he has and start following the real Jesus. Hello, I'm Robert Tilton. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you were rich? As for Tilton, he left Florida and moved to California. The IRS followed, and earlier this year, issued this summons seeking records from his church's bank alleging non-payment of payroll taxes. The outstanding debt was quickly settled. As for his ministry... How to be rich and have everything you ever wanted. When you finish reading this book, and the Lord has already spoken to my heart, many of you are going to become millionaires. Prosperity is still the theme, although his ministry is mostly online and dependent on donations. And he still uses a P.O. box in Oklahoma, not far from where the prayer requests were found in a dumpster years ago. We wanted to interview Tilton, but he's hard to reach. So we traveled to California to attend his monthly church service just outside of L.A. We're on our way to Culver City. That's where Tilton's church is located. Actually, it's not a church. It's located in a conference room at a Marriott. We found the Marriott, and there we found Tilton, who remembered me from years ago. Robert Tilton, how are you? Great. Brett Ship with WFAA TV in Dallas. Oh, my. Well, you're still looking good. It's been a while. How are you? I'm good. We I'm came good. out here to see you. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like something that makes me feel warm and fuzzy. 
Is it okay? Do you it, mind? No, not at all. Okay. His congregation, a fraction of what it was back in the day, about five people scattered in conference room chairs. His mood quickly changed when he realized we were there to report and not tithe. Now, who's this guy with you? That's Mark. Mark, no cameras. Huh? Moments later, my, my photographer and I yeah. were told to leave. Okay. <laughs> These guys can't be trusted, they're press. After 25 years and a fall from grace, Robert Tilton may never escape the spotlight or his fate that finds him in a tiny conference room outside of L.A. You guys have a safe trip home. Okay? Brett Ship. God bless you. Channel 8 News.